I think it's a good move given the circumstances. We have to remember uh, it's only been a week since Conzo Martin left for California. So uh, given the parameters that Dave Hart was operating under, given the, the time constraints and everything else, the financial package he could put together or felt comfortable putting together, I, I think Donnie Tyndall is a reasonably good fit. I think Donnie Tyndall is much more of a salesman than Conzo Martin was. Uh, Conzo Martin was always going to be compared to Bruce Pearl. I don't think that's fair, but UT basketball requires some selling, and I think uh, Donnie Tyndall will be a better salesman than Conzo Martin was. We'll see what kind of product he puts on the court. The, the cupboard's fairly bare uh, in terms of scorers and rebounders, so uh, Tyndall's going to have a challenge in the first season. but. I think you give him a pass this year and see what you come up with in the years that follow. I think it'll be a stretch for Tennessee to be a tournament team next year, perhaps NIT. There's a lot of rebuilding to be done. I think that's one of the reasons he has to kind of lock down Conso Martin's recruiting class, which uh, had four players in it, got some, some size in that class, got some help on the perimeter. So if he can get those four guys in there, or the bulk of those four, three of the four anyway, uh, and he's comfortable with them, then he can start the whole building process, or, or maybe it's rebuilding given everything that's happened with Tennessee basketball over the last several years.